folks, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews. Whiskey review number 239, that's going to be another American bourbon. This is a very, very old one. Look at this bottle that I found here in Seoul, South Korea. What an old bottle that is. It's never been opened. It's got its original seal on the top. And uh, boy, when is this from? You know, if you, if you can guess when it's from, please leave a comment. I have no idea. Someone has told me possibly the 70s. It might have been earlier, so let me know. Uh, let me read this to you on the front. Old Crow Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 80 proof, 40, 40 degrees GL, sour mash distilled by W.A. Gaines, division of the Old Crow Distillery Company, Frankfort, uh, Frankfort, Kentucky, USA, DSP KY 25, aged six years. Old Crow on the back side here. Generation after generation, men of fame and discriminating taste have enjoyed and preferred the smoothest and mellowest of bourbons. It was first distilled by Dr. James Crow in 1835. Bottled in USA at DSP KY 14. One tenth of a pint, 0 0.04732 litro. Product of USA. All right, well, let's get that poured. Ripped it open. Have you had this before? Boy, if you have, please let me know. I think that's more than enough. All right, now here on Whiskey Whistle, what we do is we talk about the color and then also the legs of the whiskey. After that, we look at the nosing, the tasting, and the finish. What is the finish like? Finally, we give it a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score, so stay tuned right till then. Color-wise, let's have a look here. What do you see for color? This looks pretty much like the standard bourbon you get today. All natural in color. All bourbons are natural in color. And the color, uh, again, this is something kind of like polished oak furniture. Uh, it's well beyond gold into the copper end of things. And uh, let's have a look at the legs now. The legs can tell you, you know, possibly what sort of mouthfeel you're going to be getting. Of course, they might not. Now for 40% ABV, this has fairly slow legs and long lasting ones. Can you see that, how slowly the trickle there? Now we've got the secondary drizzle going on here, the secondary drop down of uh, legs, and that's quite attractive. Now one thing we can say for sure is that this was matured in oak that was air dried a lot of uh, naturally air dried for like two years or something. Nowadays, a lot of the oak casks are hyper dried using machines. And apparently even that can affect the whiskey. All right. So Old Crow Kentucky Straight Bourbon, minimum two years old. However, this one is six years old and it says so right on the front there. A little bit of rye content here. Now, it still had some of that old bottle effect, but it certainly has a very different nose to the bourbons of today. This also reminds me more of a Scotch single grain than of an American bourbon. It smells like high rye. Yeah, it comes off as well beyond, say, 20%. And I'm getting some leather, some old books. I'm getting a bit of mint, a little bit of generic tree fruits, apples, and peaches. All right, now let's check out the nose on Old Crow. 
Now I notice there's a little bit of rye content here. This might be classified today as a high rye. There's still a lot of vanilla in the background. Big vanilla. Oh my. Now there may be some old bottle effect happening here, but if so, it's been good. It's very buttery. There's a little bit of corn, but the corn is a buttered corn, a roasted corn. Oh, lovely. It's got a heavenly nose. All right, let's check out the palette. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Still has quite a bit of rye on the palate. But we're talking vanilla ice cream, vanilla pods, a little bit of cinnamon, but more vanilla than cinnamon. And uh, fruit wise, um, some very ripe apples, cooked apples. Mm. This is a single malt scotch lover's bourbon. Oh, that is really, really nice. So strong in the vanilla. It's just wonderful. A little bit of rye really balances things out. And the finish is very sweet, caramel. And it really carries for quite a long time. Very, very long finish. Mmm. Oh, that's just a delight. Let's add just a couple drops of water and see what happens. I might be one of the only reviewers on YouTube that almost religiously checks uh, the palate and the nose and the finish uh, neat and also with water. Well, I get a lot more dryness on the nose. Okay, let's check out the palate. Cheers. A little bit more zesty on the palate. Um, a little bit more oomph on the palate. The finish also is very long. It's kind of like apple mint, mint gum, but then, then you go and eat some strawberries. It has a really intoxicating nose. It's really, really nice. All right, one more taste. Cheers. What a long finish. Now, if you are a Scotch whiskey lover, Irish whiskey, Canadian whiskey, this is something, if you see it, I would highly recommend getting. Cheers again. That is surprisingly nice. How about the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Old Crow Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey? What's that going to be? Well, it's going to be 90 out of 100. Yes, you heard correct. 90 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Old Crow Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey aged 6 years. That's really something special and of the old bourbons that I've tried, this is my favorite. Um, old meaning they came from a long time ago, like this one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that review. Make sure you stay tuned, there's lots to come. Hit that subscribe button right over here. And have you tried Old Crow or anything similar? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And um, actually, I'll be heading to Canada at the end of the month. So hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more interesting bourbons while I'm there than here. So stay tuned, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle.
be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.